cases of gender-based violence, yes, uh, teenage pregnancies, mm -hmm. uh, more orphans and more widows. Yes. How, how is the situation now, and especially when it comes to the GBVs, the gender-based violence cases that you are handling? It's adding up. When there's a crisis of food and all other things, people do a lot of stupid things. This is the time that the evil people take advantage of using these girls and women. And they, they take because they can give them a few shillings to go and feed back their children. Mm -hmm. uh, in Obey County, I tried. We actually uh, run our mentorship program for a while now, and we have been engaging more girls on supporting with, or with medical with the sanitary towels mm -hmm. and again the hygiene and we are trying to make sure that they understand and health talks we we are doing them still mm -hmm. but uh, the number is still adding up because of the situation we are now it is not easy for some families to feed themselves mm -hmm. so you'll find ma the mothers they are going deeper mm -hmm. to engage on things which are not right because they need money you know but um, this I think only God will help. We will try as human, but uh, there's a section that now you leave to God mm -hmm. to change the mindset of a human being. Because mindset is a, is a challenge to each and every person. Mm -hmm. So we are still doing it, we are still handling it. Like when I go back home, we are going to organize for the, the girls training after they finish, because we have those who are doing class eight, we have those who are doing form four, they will be at home mm -hmm. for two months. Yeah. So we are going to engage again so hard in the ground to make sure that we mentor them not to engage on uh, things which will not help their life in the future. Mm -hmm.